Welcome to Looking at the Markets with David Modell. I found an article. I like to share articles with you, especially if they're really useful. This is from Cody Hind at the Samurai Trading Academy. And this is a few years old, but I believe it's still worth it because there's so much research behind this. Now you have to make your own decisions. Don't rely on me or on anybody. You gotta make your own decisions, okay? And uh, none of these patterns work all the time, so please be aware of that. Uh, but Cody Hind from the Samurai Trading Academy.com, and I'm going to put the link to this article in the description below this video, so you can click on it if you want to. Uh, it's testing out the very common price action patterns that you use, or that people use in stocks, options, commodities, cryptocurrencies, forex, and so on. And uh, according to the article here, uh, the statistics on the price action patterns below, which we're going to look at, were accumulated through testing of 10 years of data and over 200,000 patterns. Wow. So even though this article is a few years old, uh, it has some pretty robust data here and research according to the article. All right, so let's look at the seven, seven most reliable, according to this article, uh, stock and option and so on, price action patterns. And at the end, they actually talk about one pattern that they found to be not reliable. All right, so let's start with number seven of the most reliable chart patterns the bull flag and the bear flag with around 60 67 or 68 percent success rate there's the bull flag okay where the uh, price action rises and then consolidates into a channel and then breaks out it's a continuation pattern and then the bear flag is also a continue continuation pattern uh, but it's the opposite the price action is going down and then it consolidates into a channel for a while and then breaks down that's number seven. Number six, the ascending triangle and the descending triangle, triangle patterns with about a 73% reliability rate according to the article. Ascending is when you uh, get into a range but it, it's a narrowing range. Uh, so the price action is going up and then into a range that goes narrower and narrower and then breaks out. Okay, and that's another continuation pattern. And the descending triangle is the opposite. Price action is going down, and then it consolidates into a range that's going narrower and narrower, and then breaks down below that. All right, let's go to number five. Another continuation pattern, the ascending channel and the descending channel. About a 73% reliability rate. That's pretty good, actually. Okay, so you've got the price action rising and then consolidating into a channel, not a narrowing channel like we saw before with the triangles, just kind of a straight channel there, and then it breaks out. That's the ascending channel. That's a continuation pattern. Another continuation pattern, the descending channel. That's the opposite. Price action is falling. It consolidates into a channel and then breaks down again. Number four, double top and double bottom. I like these. I like it, especially the double bottom. Uh, we'll talk about that in a moment. The double top is when the price action, oh, and by the way, this has the double top has around a 75% reliability rate. That's pretty good. And the double bottom, uh, 78 and a half, let's say, approximately, reliability rate. That's pretty good. So the double top, uh, you've got the price action rising and then it hits a uh, resistance level once and then again a second time and then breaks down. Uh, and then you've got, these are reversal patterns by the way, not continuation patterns, reversal patterns. And the, du the double bottom, I like that one. All right, so the uh, price action is falling but then it hits a support level and then hits, it bounces right off of it and then hits it again, bounces right off of it. I like that a lot. Uh, that seems to be a stronger resistance, I'm sorry, support level, stronger support level when it hits it more than once. And the more times it hits it, the more times it bounces off of that support level, the more confident I am that it's a really solid support level. All right, so uh, that's the double bottom pattern when it breaks out after hitting that uh, support twice. Number three, remember how I just talked about when the uh, support and resistance has been bounced off of more times, that gives me more confidence that it's a solid support or res resistance level. Well, therefore, the triple bottom and triple top should be more reliable than just the double bottom and top, right? Well, here's the proof, here's the evidence. I mean, not proof, but according to this article. All right, the uh, triple top pattern, uh, according to the article, has a uh, around a 77.5% reliability rate, and the triple bottom, which I like a whole lot as far as patterns go, has a 79 reliability rate. Wow. 
So that's number three, okay? Triple top pattern, it, uh, it's rising price action, but hits resistance. It hits its head on that ceiling three times. That's some solid resistance there, and then it breaks down. It's a reversal price pattern. Uh, then the triple bottom, I like this one a lot. Uh, where it hits that support, it falls, then it hits that support level, bounces right off of it once, twice, and three times, and then breaks out. That gives me a lot of confidence. Number two, interesting, the bullish rectangle pattern with a around a 78% reliability rate and the bearish rectangle pattern, 79.5 or thereabouts reliability rate. Wow, okay. So uh, it's kind of interesting. It gets into, it, it price is rising with the bullish one. It's a continuation pattern, by the way. Price is rising and then goes into a channel for quite a while, kind of a long time. Once, twice, three times, and then finally breaks out. You can do it bearish as well. Price goes down, it's falling, gets into a channel. Okay, it's got a support level one, two, three times, but then breaks down finally. What's number two? Uh, I'm sorry, that was number two. You ready for number one? Here it is. <laughs> All right, head and shoulders and the inverse, inverted head and shoulders pattern. That's number one. Interesting, okay. Would, would you have thought that this would be number one, that this would be the most reliable one, according to the data? Well, there it is, according to this article. 83% 83, 83 reliability rate, that's very reliable. According to the article, at least, okay. And so if you don't know what the head and shoulders pattern is, it's a reversal pattern, okay. Price action rises, goes down, rises more, goes down, rises about to where it rose that first time, and then finally breaks down. That's the head and shoulders pattern. Around 83% reliable, as is the more bullish, that was the bearish one, the bullish inverted head and shoulders pattern. It's also a reversal pattern. Price action falls, goes up, hits resistance, goes down more, goes up, hits resistance, goes down about as much as it went down the first time, and then breaks out, finally. Interesting, okay? So are you ready for the dishonorable mention, the one that this article found to not be reliable? Dishonorable mention, bullish pennant pattern, and the bearish pennant pattern. It's a continuation pattern, uh, barely above 50% in the reliability percentage rate, according to the article. Not too good, okay? And poor performance, comparatively poor performance, it says here. Wow, and there's the, there's the bearish pennant. So you may want to avoid that one. And here's the author, Cody Hind, founder and head trader at Samurai Trading Academy, at least back when this article was written, and I hope he still is, okay? Pretty cool. So thank you to Cody Hind. Thank you to Samurai Trading Academy for providing this information. I want to give you a lot of credit. And uh, feel free to check out their website. Um, I am not a sponsor of them. Uh, at the moment, but uh, so I'm not being paid to say this. <laughs> I just thought it's pretty cool that they did all that research. Okay, so if you like this video, hey, give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell so you can receive updates on my videos when they come out and leave a comment. What do you think? Do you think uh, this article is, uh, you know, do you agree with it? Do you disagree with it? I want to know what you think, all right? And uh, I also provide uh, coaching. So if you want some help with uh, trading and investing, that kind of thing, you can email me at davidmodell at gmail.com. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. I'll talk to you again soon.